Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Thunder. I'm back. I got a gameplay here. I figured I'd upload for you all. Uh, I've, I've been cleaning out my hard drive, everybody. I'm getting ready for Black Ops, and uh, there's just so much gameplay on my hard drive. I'm, I'm just going to delete it all. I'm just one man. There's no way I could sit back here and go through all my gameplays. And uh, Wait a minute. Hold on. <laughs> Ouch. Oh my goodness. Lady Gaga. Always planting claymores. Oh, she is just the bomb. <laughs> so anyway, Lady Gaga nails me with the claymore right there. Uh, nothing I could do. But if I had Marathon and Lightweight, you know I'd be running right through that shit with uh, the greatest of ease. But I do not have Marathon, Lightweight, and Ninja. I tried to play without using those perks. Uh, my play style, everybody. Uh, you know me. I, I like to use a gun. I mean, if I want to run around, you know, I'll go play a track and field game. If I want to run around stabbing people, you know, hey, there's always Shinobi and Ninja Gaiden. I'm playing a shooter. I want to shoot. Uh, I'm not telling anyone how to play. You guys play however you want. It's fine with me. But this is just the way I like to play. And, uh, yeah, guys, as you can see, I've really been messing around with my color correction <laughs> again. And this uh, Scrapyard gameplay is probably going to look a lot different than my other Scrapyard gameplay uploaded. That gameplay did kind of look a little orange. Orange, however you want to pronounce it. But, uh, yeah, I, I didn't use Color Curve in that video. And I used it here. And you could definitely see it. It makes a difference. Uh, I'm just trying to get the best possible quality for my vids here, guys. I mean, I edit with Sony Vegas 9, and I render with my uh, Hopog PVR that only works about half the time, which is unfortunate because uh, I was playing last night. I got two really cool nukes. I got a Glock, a Kimbo Glock only nuke on Storm. Well, that and Claymores, but <laughs> between the Claymores and the Kimbo Glocks and my Harrier and Pavlo, I got a uh, had a nice little nuke, and I got a one-man army nuke on Wasteland using just the uh, ACR silence with one-man army. But, uh, yeah, none of those gameplays recorded because my PVR sucks. And it said USB device unreadable when I went to go look at my computer after I was done playing. And nothing got recorded, but, you know, whatever. Um, so I've got my Harrier up doing some work right now. And, guys, it's less than a week until Black Ops comes out. Man, I am so excited. Uh, I know a lot of people that already have the game. And how did they get the game? I'll tell you how. I'm not going to give any names. I'm not going to drop any names. I don't want anyone to get in trouble. But the people that I know that do have the game, it is stolen. It was taken from a store. All you need to do is know someone that works at the store, a stock boy or whatever, and just, you know, work out something where he goes in the back with a little razor blade and, you know, <laughs> opens up the bundle. Because the stores have the game. The game is in the stores right now. They just can't sell it. So, I mean, if you know someone that's unscrupulous enough to go out and boost you a I mean, I personally, I don't think it's worth it. It's not worth First of all, stealing is wrong. I, I don't... Uh, stealing is terrible. It's a bad feeling. Uh, I stole shit when I was a little kid, and I didn't know any better. And it, it didn't... It, it, even back then, it didn't feel right with me. I mean, if, if I stole something from someone, I personally would feel terrible. Uh, I mean, unless you're stealing a care package. I mean, there's really nothing wrong with that. Or stealing someone's kill and second chance, you know, whatever. Those things happen. But I'm talking about real-life stealing here, people. And I just, it's a horrible feeling. Don't ever do it. But, uh, you know, if you know someone that's uh, unscrupulous enough and you're uh, desperate enough and you just can't wait a week, I'm sure you guys could work something out where you could just go into the back of the store with a razor blade and get you a copy of Black Ops. But uh, that's illegal. And... <laughs> I definitely don't recommend it. I wouldn't do it. So it's not worth it anyway, guys. Just six days. You guys can wait six days, right? No big deal. So anyway, people, I've been seeing a lot of zombie gameplay, man. A lot of people have been sending me zombie videos. I haven't uploaded all of them because they're pretty... Uh, they're all the same level. <laughs> pretty uh, repetitive. I haven't really seen too much. Uh, it seems like nobody can make it past like level uh, 10. That's the highest round I've seen someone get to. And... Oh, yeah... <laughs> These guys in this lobby right now, people, they talked so much shit. Uh, this was so funny. I thought about just uploading the gameplay without my commentary, but I know you guys hate that. But this would have been actually worth it just because these people talk so much trash. And then at the end of the game, when I win, they all back out. You're going to see it. It's pretty funny. And uh, it was really satisfying for me. And, uh, oh, what do you know? This is a nuke video. No shit. <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, I get a nuke. And when I call it in, just pay attention to the kill feed in the left. You're going to see all the rats abandon the ship. And, oh, I missed this guy, and I ducked behind this tractor here so I could reload. And just play smart, people. I mean, uh, that's my best advice to give any of you guys. Uh, you know, stay to the outsides of the map. Don't go anywhere near the middle of the map. Cause you're just going to wind up getting spawn raped or reverse spawn raped or whatever. It's terrible, but... <laughs> all right, so all right, I'm gonna call the nuke in right now because I don't want to get the 
score the game over without the nuke coming in. So, and as you can see, everyone's leaving the game. Patty, see you later. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Redneck, bye bye. <laughs> Buck Street, he left the game. Adios, amigos. Thanks for coming. So, there you go. I dropped a nuke on a whole bunch of trash talkers, and that's always fun. It's always satisfying, but. Uh, guys, I got a lot more nukes on my hard drive. I don't know if I'm going to upload all of them because they're all pretty repetitive. Like uh, the Crash, TV Shop. I got like two nukes on my hard drive. I've got another nuke on Storm. Uh, I got another nuke on Quarry. What else do I have? I got a Karachi nuke. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to upload any of these, but um, I'm just right now I'm just focusing on clearing out all the stuff on my hard drive for Black Ops because I'm going to be recording my ass off when that game comes out. It's going to be so nice to play a game where I don't have to worry about getting blown up all the time. And that's the reason why I play Free For All, guys. I mean, this is the only... I mean, a lot of you people ask me, Thunder, how can you play Modern Warfare 2? If you stick to Free For All, guys, it's really not bad, because, you know, you don't get uh, blown up that much. There's not a lot of people that run noob tubes in Free For All, so... Uh, the noob tubes pretty much ruined this game. Uh, they absolutely did. The, the idea... For, that um, Infinity Ward had to let Scavenger resupply noob tubes and uh, One Man Army resupply noob tubes uh, pretty much was a death sentence for Modern Warfare 2. And I don't know why they just can't release a patch where Scavenger will not resupply noob tubes and One Man Army just supplies bullets only and not noob tubes. Uh, that would be... Man, it would just make this game so much more enjoyable, but whatever. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm looking to the future. I'm looking for Black Ops. I cannot wait. Uh, November 9th, people, it's right around the corner. And it's your boy, Legend of Thunder. Thanks for watching. I am out.